balancing you on a kitchen roll. Hopefully, stay still. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here then I'm so happy to meet you. So, if you hadn't guessed by the title, today we are doing a rather large Aldi food shop. I'm absolutely blessed, thank you Lord Baby Jesus, to be about two minutes away from Aldi again. Um, so, I'm very, very excited to start doing my food shopping in there again. I just think Aldi is brilliant. And after being taken away from Aldi and kind of being plonked next to a Waitrose, I really, really appreciate the affordability of the food in there. So, I've collected everything that I would typically have for like a week's worth of meals. I would say this is like for one or two people. I don't usually just cook for myself. I've usually got my friends over or something, so I usually will be cooking for two people. So I've tried to get a selection of dinners, a selection of lunches, snacks, breakfast, and then a few cleaning bits, and then just some kind of bits for the house. If you haven't already, make sure you are cozy, get yourself a cup of tea, and I'm just gonna quickly kind of whiz through everything, hopefully give you some meal ideas, some snack ideas, and kind of tell you what I use for what recipes. My hands are very active today, aren't they? Some days I notice they're just a little bit out of control. I feel like today might be the day. So, let me come and get you. So, let's start over here. So, starting over this end, this is kind of like all of the meats and fish that I'll buy for the week. Now, I do quite enjoy chicken breast, but I don't like chicken breasts from supermarkets. I usually get those from the butchers. So the first thing I noticed, which was new in Aldi since I've been in there last, they've actually got loads of these, which I think are absolutely fabulous. Please excuse my fake tan hand and my broken nail. I look like a bit of a tragedy, so I'm just gonna point to things like this. So the first thing that I noticed is this Peri Peri Spatchcock Chicken. I love me a spatchcock chicken so nice these are super easy they make a really nice meal i would usually serve with this some veg maybe a jacket potato you could even have like sweet potato fries with it you could have it in like a salad you can have it however and i just think they're really easy you literally just take this off and you shove it in the oven for 80 minutes and they're just really really nice then next i found this sweet and sour pork stir fry again super easy I love how everything's already cut up. I love that there's a sauce in there and you've already got all your vegetables in there as well. This serves two. And I think this was only about three pounds, which works out so much cheaper than buying everything individually. And then I found this teriyaki beef stir fry, pretty much the same as this one. You've got your teriyaki sauce in there. Your meat is already cut up and your veg. There was quite a few different ones of these. There was a chicken tikka. There was a chicken stir fry. There was loads. There was even like casserole dish like mixes. Like they were brilliant. I just think it's kind of a little bit healthier than a ready meal. You know, if you've got a really busy week at work or something like that, these are just nice to come home to, throw it in a pan and be ready really quickly. What is my cat doing? Could you not pull on my curtains, please? No, please, please. Why do you make my life so hard? Look, get off them. So back to the food shopping haul. I got some salmon. These are currently £2.50 in Aldi, which is brilliant. They're usually kind of over £3 in other supermarkets. So I got three packs of the salmon fillets because I tend to eat salmon more than any other meat. I like to have salmon kind of three to four times a week. I think it makes my skin really nice and it never makes me bloated. Chicken can sometimes bloat me, but salmon just seems to agree with my stomach. Then I picked up some of these chicken chipolatas. These are so good. And I think they're nice kind of like as a nice breakfast. So I usually have these with scrambled egg, maybe some spinach, some tomatoes. And if you kind of just want to get your protein up and you fancy something a little bit meaty for breakfast, then these are a good alternative to pork sausages. So this is kind of like my random section let's start with snacks which is everyone's favorite i have actually already been in these couldn't resist these are delicious they literally taste like a dessert now any kind of fruit and nut bars i would say they're healthy for you in moderation but they've got a lot of sugar in and a lot of carbs purely because they're like dried fruit but i mean they're better for you than having a chocolate bar or something like that and they're super yummy so i like to have those if i'm kind of craving chocolate 
And then I also got a selection of nuts, cashews and pistachios are my favourite and again they're really really cheap from Aldi, I think these are about £1.50 a packet. If you were to buy these in a different supermarket you would definitely be paying about double the price. So I also picked up just some spices to keep in my cupboard, I got crushed chilies, chicken seasoning, garlic granules, mixed herbs and Cajun seasoning and these were about, these were under a pound each. Then I picked up some crunchy peanut butter. I like to have this on rice cakes. I like to have it on apple. You can have it in oats. I just like to kind of like have this in the cupboard as a little bit of a snack in case I'm craving something. Well, basically if, in case I'm craving peanut butter, you know? Then next up, we all know how I feel about yogurts. I bloody love yogurts. They are my favorite thing to eat. So I've already got kind of like a fridge full of yogurts at the moment. So I just picked up a few. These are new. I have never actually seen these in Aldi. And these are the 0% Greek yogurts, but they're strawberry flavor. And I just thought they looked, hello Canon. Hello, Canon. I just thought they looked super yummy. They do loads of different flavors. Who used to remember when I used to be like obsessed with these yogurts? If you remember that, I love you because that means you've been around for a really long time and you still watch my videos. So I love you. These are so nice. They also do cherry ones. I've got one of those down there. And I think a passion fruit one and oh my God, they're delicious. So cheese. I first of all got these cheese triangles mainly because Sophie loves these on a bagel so I've got those for her in the fridge if she stays over and she wants some breakfast but these are also really really good on celery sticks, cucumber sticks, carrot sticks, they're nice on pita breads, they are really really nice on rice cakes as well so I will use these a lot. And then I just got some 30% fat, lighter, mature cheddar cheese over there. Um, I like to have this sometimes on like fajita mix and stuff like that. And it's just a little essential to keep in the fridge. Bloody hell, everyone will be so happy about this. Some batteries to put in my clock. Because my clock has been saying 25 to 7 for about three years now. Well, slight exaggeration there. But as soon as I've finished filming this video, my clock will finally work. So these were only a pound in Aldi. I don't know if they're like fake Duracell or something, but I think that's pretty cheap. Then I also got some rice. I don't actually have a microwave, so I usually cook this in a pan with a little bit of water. It takes about five minutes and it's really, really nice. Or if you watch my vlog on Sunday, I sometimes just mix it with chicken and throw it in the oven. I picked up some tuna. I eat quite a lot of tuna. I like it on rice cakes. I like it in salads, on jacket potatoes. And I always get the one in spring water because it's like half the calories of the one that's in oil. So yeah, always keep an eye out for that. The spring water one is the nicest. Then I also picked up some eggs. I usually have eggs quite a few times a week when I'm having breakfast. As you guys know, I do intermittent fasting, so I don't have breakfast every single day. But when I do, I like to have scrambled eggs, sometimes poached, sometimes I'll boil a few and keep them in the fridge for like afternoon snacks and stuff. Then moving on to over here, Lemon and ginger is one of my favourite drinks to drink. I think anything with lemon and ginger in makes my skin unreal. So I usually have this in the morning, in the afternoon. I usually have about two of these a day and I think they're brilliant for digestion as well. I actually tried one of these again in my vlog on Sunday on some chicken, some peppers and some rice. And I put it in the oven and it was actually really delicious. Sometimes you can get these sachets and they're really, really salty and they're almost like unbearable to eat because there's just so much salt. But these are really, really nice. And they also have like barbecue ones of these, fajita ones of these, lots of different ones. And then, I've never tried one of these before. This is a shake and bake in lemon and dill and I just think that would be really nice because I've got a lot of salmon over here. Sometimes the salmon can be a little bit plain so I thought this would just add a little bit more flavour. I felt like Jay Huss then. Flavour. Frozen things. These are bloody delicious in porridge. If you like having oats in the morning and they're sometimes a little bit boring or you're having oats in the morning and you're in a rush to get to work and the oats are like flaming hot and you want to cool them down, try the dark sweet cherries. You basically just cook your oats, throw a, throw a few, throw, oh my God, throw a few of these in and it cools it down but it also turns into almost like a jam, like it's gorgeous. And then I also picked up some tuna steaks. Now, 
This is a public apology from me. Last year, I told you all that you could cook these from frozen. You can't. Um, you actually have to defrost them first. I mean, I never died. I never got food poisoning, but <laughs> just defrost them first. But these are lovely for lunches, for dinners. I love tuna steaks. They're so yummy. I usually have them with like something like this, actually. Maybe some eggs, some tomatoes. Um, vegetables. Moving on to Aldi Spray Light. Never ever ever buy Fry Light from the supermarkets. It's actual extortion. This is under a pound and it does exactly the same thing. It's still one calorie per spray and I never use oil. I always use this. And then I picked up some rice cakes. Like I said, I have these with a lot of different things. I have these with tuna. I have these with peanut butter, with the cheese triangles. They are an essential snack for me. Multi Pleasures is actually cereal but not in the morning I like to have cereal like before bed like if I'm laying in bed and I'm a little bit peckish cereal just sends me to sleep like a baby I don't know what it is I just think it tastes so much nicer at night and this is one of my favorites I mean the sugars are quite high in this but I do only have a very little bowl so this is one of the more healthier options then over here I picked up some of this fabric is this fabric conditioner or wash I'm not entirely sure, but it smells bloody incredible, and it's about £2. And then, this was actually a bargain, so this was £3.50, and this is usually, like, a lot more in other shops, so I picked up one of these. You can usually find, like, really good things in the middle of Aldi. I mean, you know, sometimes there's a tent, an axe. <sighs> there's random things in the middle bits, but it's definitely worth having a look. Sometimes you can find gold. Then I picked up some of these all-purpose cloths. These are brilliant, kind of like when you put your Zoflora in your sink and you want to go over your cupboards and everything like that. These are really good that you can kind of throw away after and they're super cheap. Then I picked up some kitchen foil. Aldi is a brilliant place to get this because it's really cheap. And then I think that's everything on the side. So moving over to this side, this is kind of just like all of my fresh fruit and veg. So I always stock up on fruit. I think Aldi fruit is the yummiest. Like everything's really fresh and it doesn't go off straight away. So some of my favorites to get are the red grapes, these strawberries. Oh my gosh, I bought some of these on Friday last week. They're still okay and they are the most delicious strawberries ever. They're just so big and like ripe and they don't go off straight away. Then I picked up some pink lady apples, some bananas. Then I got some ripe at home avocados because I sometimes like to have these with my breakfast, with my egg, with my chicken sausages. If I'm feeling super hungry, these are also really, really nice in smoothies. So just a nice little thing to have in the house. So moving on to veg, these are brilliant. I've spoken about these so much because they're just so easy and yummy. I'm all about easy cooking, like, Sometimes you just really don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, especially when you've been at work all day or you've been out. You just want to kind of throw stuff in. So I think the Mediterranean veg would be really, really, really nice with spatchcock chicken. I think that's actually what I'm going to cook tonight. So these winter roast vegetables are delicious, really nice as part of like a roast dinner. Um, and then these Mediterranean vegetables are lovely with salmon. They're lovely with chicken and again, very easy. Also, I noticed Aldi have lots of these kind of like little salad packs, which I thought would be fab for lunches. So you could maybe cook some tuna steaks the night before and then take them in like a little Tupperware and put them in here for lunch. Or you could have this with some chicken. You could have it with tuna. I just think these are a really nice little idea. And again, these are under a pound and they have lots of different ones. And then I just got some peppers. I love the Aldi do packs of peppers that are two red, one yellow, because does anyone actually like the green pepper? I hate the green pepper. Then I got some mixed baby plum tomatoes. I love yellow tomatoes and some asparagus. And I usually get tender stem broccoli because it's my absolute fave, but they didn't actually have any. Oh, I'm gonna stand you on my beef teriyaki. I feel like I absolutely whizzed through that in record timing today, but I just didn't kind of want to go on. You know, it's a food shopping haul. I didn't want to make it longer than it needs to be. Hopefully this gives you some ideas for healthy meal ideas. This is actually the start of my healthy eating series again. So I think my next video is going to be like a selection of healthy meals, but I need you guys to tell me what you want to see. Do you want to see like another week's worth of food shopping from a different shop? 
or would you kind of like to see what I make from this food shop? Because I did that before and it worked really, really well. So basically I just showed you all of the meals that I would make from this specific food shop. So yeah, let me know what you would like the next episode to be. But I know it's been very short and brief, but I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you on Sunday's video, which is going to be a huge interior haul. As you guys know, I've just moved house and... I have so many new things that I've bought that I need to show you, mainly from B&M and The Range. So yeah, it'd be a nice, chilled, sit-down video on Sunday. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye! You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you